So use a dummy variable tau and replace the t by tau. And the step number two is to flip h of tau about y axis. And step number three, replace minus tau by t minus tau. Step number four, As there is no overlapping, so y of t is equals to 0. So this is the output y of t is equals to 0 for t less than 0. And the output that is 0. Case number 2 for t 0 to 1. After overlapping, we get another signal and now you can integrate it for from time 0 to t and you can see that the slope is 1 and intercept is 0. So we have equation y of t is equals to tau and we take the limit from 0 to t. So after solving it, we have half the scale. So we have the y of t output is equals to half the scale for time 0 to 1. So we have a plot of it. Case number 3 for t 1 to 2. After overlapping, we get a composite signal that consists of three parts. Uh, let's integrate it. The first part from 0 to t minus 1. So the intercept, the slope is negative 1 and intercept is 0 and the limits from 0 to t minus 1. The second part that has slope is equal to 1 and intercept is also 1. So we have tau and limits from t minus 1 to t. The third part slope is negative 1 and intercept is plus 2 the limits from 1 to t. After solving it we have the result y of t so we have y of t equals to negative 3 by 2 t square plus 4 t minus 2 in the first part the slope is negative 1 and intercept is 0 so we have equation minus tau and limits from t minus 2 to 1 so you can see here here is 1 so the limits from t minus 2 to 1 the second part that has slope positive 1 and intercept is negative 2 and the time limits from 1 to t minus 1 the third part that has slope negative 1 and intercept is plus 2 and the limits from t minus 1 to 2 after solving these integrals so we have the result y of t case number 5 for t from 3 to 4 as there is a small overlapped area 
so integrate it you can see that slope is positive 1 and intercept is minus 2 and limits from t minus 2 to 2 after solving it we have the result y of t the final case case 6 for t greater than 4 as there is no overlapping so y of t is equals to 0 so now we have a complete output so now we have a complete result y of t